up, good people? It's your man OG, TK Cole, and I'm back with another episode of Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game. I'm playing as my favorite character as usual, Sonny Williams. Let's see if we can manifest an escape. Right. Let's see what we can do. I'm trying to see which way I should be going. I probably shouldn't be going this way. But... Uh, it's look like it's going to be one of those matches. I messed up. Uh-oh. Leatherface right there. It's a dumb leather face. Dude, what are you doing? Just get away from him. I'm still in the basement. I usually be gone by now. Let me get out of this basement. I've been down here way too long, people. And he upstairs. Uh oh.
Oh my god. Oh man, I tried to jump out the window. It wouldn't let me jump out the window. That's the only thing. They gotta fix some of this stuff, bro. They gotta fix some of this stuff. I had it too. I knew, I knew exactly what she was going for. Escaping from the house. That's why I was trying to jump out the window. This chick right here. That's why I was trying to jump out the window because I knew what she was going for. The the um the generator. Like I don't understand it. They need to fix that. When I get right in front of the window after I pick up speed and I hit the button, I should be able to jump out the window. It, it, it's so many things that just don't like it should be automatic, man. I'm on the PS5. As soon as I'm right in front of it, it shouldn't be that janky. And as much as I love the game and I love gun media, I have to be honest. The game is losing players already. And it's not because it ain't a lot of maps and the same thing over and over. It's because the jankiness along with that this game is kind of buggy and janky a little bit. Girl, I know you see him right there. What are you doing? You're dead. Yeah, it's over for you, homegirl. Oh, You're dead. You better get some help. See what happened. What? Why would you come out like that? Like, look at. That's what I didn't understand, but whatever. That's what I didn't just understand like that. She ducked past him. And for some reason, it, he still hit her. Like, it's just a whole... As much as I support Gun and Sumo Digital, they did a great job on the game. It's just so much clutter to it. And it just needs to be worked out. I'm going to be honest. And, and as much as I love the game, I'm a supporter of the game. Big supporter of the game. I think the game could have the game could have used another month or two in incub in incubation. It could have stayed in the uh they could have worked on it a few more months. They could have even released it in October and I wouldn't have been mad at them instead of releasing it in August. They could have released it in October. And I wouldn't have been mad at all. And I know a lot of people probably listening to this right now would agree with me. Them releasing the game in October wouldn't have been a bad move because the more you play it, the more you see issues with it. Like, why would you go right there? That wasn't a good, I don't know. You should have waited. You could have hid behind that. I don't know. But like that that whole situation with me trying to jump out the window, I hit the button and it ain't let me jump out the window. That just was weird to me, but whatever. Like I said, I'm a big supporter of the game, but it needed some more time in the oven. And right now, everybody went back. The, the people that you was trying to get, regardless of what Wes and them say, they wanted their, by daylight players to play their game. They could say, oh, no, there's no competition. 
whatever. And a lot of people went back to playing Dead by Daylight. I mean, you, you got people that like the game, so they're going to stick with it. Like True Talent and Angry Pug and guys like that. They're going to stick with it. Uh, slashing Cast. I'm even going to stick with it, but... I'm, I'm, I don't play Dead by Daylight like that as much as I used to. But I never was a guy that recorded it. I was going to use this to record. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, guys. And listen to me very carefully. What's going to happen is, and I've said this to myself. I didn't say this to nobody. Being that I'm back content creating. This will be the first time I've said this out loud so people can hear me. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is going to be the game that gets, that takes um, asymmetric horror to the next level. Like, people are going to play that game. This could have been it. Not enough maps at uh at release and it's just a little too janky. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is the perfect game. It's the perfect the perfect game. This person can't count. What are you doing? Bro, you can't count? Yes. No. There you go. Oh my God. No. There you go. There you go. Let's see if you can get out of here. You got to get to the basement now. You can do it. It's right there. Where are you going? Get away. Get away. Oh, you went to the other side. Okay, good move. It's open. Unless dude is blocking it. Turn right. Turn right. You went to the wrong way. You were supposed to turn right. Oh, I don't even have my mic on. She messed up. She's on the path, but can she get there? Oh, she's stupid. She lost her way. She's dumb. Go straight, go straight. Too late now, that's about to close on her. She went the wrong way, she was supposed to turn right. Oh, she there, she there, it closed on her. I closed on her, cause she, and when she came down to the basement, she was supposed to turn right, and she didn't. It's over. It is over. Dang. Ooh. That's it. They got us. I don't know what I'm going to name this video. Good people, that's the end of the video, man. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.